Hello everyone, Kamar Blitz here, and we're back with Half-Life. Now, uh, if you saw the last time we played Half-Life, I did mention Half-Life 2, but I forgot about Blue Shift, where we see the adventures of, let's call him Barney, the security guard at Black Mesa. So we get to see it from his point of view, all the trials and tribulations that go by in that ill-fated facility so first now that we're Barney let's check out the training for a security guard and how it differs from a special forces soldier or a scientist let's check it out Welcome to the Black Mesa hazard course for security guard training I'll be your holographic guide to assist you in your training begin by putting on your vest and helmet You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it and I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. So. Here you will find your standard armor vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. Instead of a hazard suit or military combat gear, we get a rugged, I guess, armor-plated vest, uh, probably resistant to small arms fire, and a helmet, which is probably the same, resistant to small arms. Probably not so good against alien weaponry or rocket launchers, but let's try it on for size. <laughs> Moving around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. Once you get comfortable with this, proceed to the next section just around the corner. All right. move you'll need to practice is jumping. You'll have to get over all three of these obstacles in order to proceed. It helps to get a running start. Watch me do it, then try it yourself. Alright. Think we can run and jump. Here we go. Boom. 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 Please proceed to the next three. Okay, doctor. Right on. You'll need to duck under the next set of obstacles. When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very silently. This can be very useful when you don't want to be heard. Okay, so we can sneak up on people. Whoop. Whoop. And a whoopee woo. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Yeah, I'm sure we're as stealthy as an assassin. Now, try combining moves. You'll need to jump duck, and then jump again. This should get you prepared for the next room, where you'll have to do both moves at the same time. Okay. Jump, crawl, jump, huh? Good work. You look prepared for the next station. Okay, well, it's not my first gig as a security guard. I've been a security guard for over ten years in multiple warehouses and gatehouses at the front of warehouses where I had plenty of supplies of cigars, pizza, and comfy chair to take a nap in. So I'm more than prepared to take on anything this job entails. To get into these pipes, you'll need to perform a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe. While moving forward, jump up and hold the jump button to go into a crouch in midair. It may be tricky at first, but you'll find it comes in handy to be able to jump and duck into tight areas. I think we can handle it. Nice work. Watch 
walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to climb back down, just move backward. Ah. Climbing ladders. I think I learned that in grammar school. The next four jumps get more difficult each time. Don't worry if you miss the last one a few times. Just climb up and do it again. If you can make all the jumps in a continuous run, you're doing just fine. Yeah, I never have any problem with jumps, right friends? I make it look easy here, but once we get playing, you know I'm going to have real fun. If you keep falling short, you may be jumping too soon. There we go. I think I'm supposed to go down. To start the lift, walk up to the button and press the use key while facing it. Ah, elevator use. I believe I did that when I was seven. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. You may take some damage from the fall, but don't worry about it. We'll give you some first aid in the next section. Right. Well, I hit it. Didn't know I could crush uh, boxes by landing on them, but that's interesting. Find medical kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa Research Facility. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit, then press and hold your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you're at full health or until the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. You may also find That's HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment equipment, so they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. Ah, useless. Love getting some health. Got anything under here? No secret secrets or anything? No power-ups? No. No cash, no extra money. All about that paycheck at the end of the week, you know. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Ah. Uh, complex puzzle solving. Okay, ready folks? Whoop. And whoop. Good job. So simple a child could do it. Or a security guard, for that matter. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. What you really need to do is push the box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward into the box, and you can push it into position. I did it without the box, but... You asked me to do it, so... I'll do it, because I don't want to look lose my chance of getting this job. There we go. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key, move backwards and the box will be pulled with you. Ah, push and pull. Simple physics. There we go. Cockroach. Crush it on. Yeah. Nothing else works. You can try breaking things that block your path. Pick up the crowbar and smash your way through the boxes. I'd rather have a billy club because I am supposed to be a security guard, but... Nothing hurts to have an ever loving atomic ass guardian crowbar. And I like breaking tables.
You'll need to use your flashlight for the next step. Spooky. Spooky. Great. Remember, your flashlight will lose power over time, so switch it off when you don't need it. When the flashlight is off, it will recharge itself. Okay. I guess we go this way. Welcome to the Black Mesa Training Target Range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. Wait a minute, I thought us security guards only get a pistol and a billy club. Now you're giving me a crowbar and an assault rifle with a grenade launcher. Not to say I don't like some toys. It doesn't make any sense though. But whatever, you're my uh, employer, so I do what you want. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. If you miss, don't worry about it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want to get through the target range as quickly as possible, try reloading during pauses instead of letting your gun run out of ammunition at a critical time. All to fire right, the man. grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Some targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. I'll start okay. the sequence in five, four, three, two, one. Target range. You may advance to the next area. Oh, ready then. Your heads up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. That means you'll need to find some clean air to breathe. As you swim through this course, your blood oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you'll be given an opportunity to surface for air. Oh, ready then. Whoa. Oh, that was a good jump. Up here? Swim up to the surface and catch your breath. You regain health lost from holding your breath too long once you've made it to the surface for air. Go ahead and swim on to the next section. Okay. through fire or steam, you'll see damage icons come up in your heads-up display. Directional indicators at the center of your display will show you from what direction damage is coming. Okay. Proximity to radiation activates a Geiger counter and radiation display in your helmet. Many other biological and chemical hazards are also indicated in your hand on this way. That hurts. Please proceed to the next section. Okay. Take an elevator, huh? Up or down? What do we do? Up it is. Let's go. Hope I get this job. Really need it. Oh, take my weapons away. I'm ready to fight some bad guys and get some coffee breaks. Lead a scientist into the next room. He will open the door that leads back into the transit system. To have someone follow you, approach the person and press your use key. He will then follow you until you face him and press the use key again. 
Okay. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Yes, I do. Got any of those little green healing okay. things? I will wait here. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Guess not. Get some fruit juice. Whatever that was. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Yes, I do. I want my squad of scientists because they are so great at when we're in combat. Guys, ready? Ready to do this mission? We gotta get through that door. Now, we might not all make it, but you gotta stick your head in that slot. And who knows if it'll come back when you pull it out. But one of you, and I can't tell which because you're identical, must make the sacrifice. Are you ready to do it? Yes? Are you ready to do it? Huh? Are you punk? Okay. Let's go. Oh, we have our volunteer. Access. Oh! His eyes were ripped out. Come on, guys. Let's go. This. You. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Yes, I do. Let's go, my scientist squad. Come on. Let's get this job together, shall we? I'm going to stay here and wait for my colleagues. Press your use key to engage. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Move forward or backward to increase I or refuse decrease to go the another speed step. of the train. Press the use key a second time to disengage from the train. You who? You are going to have to Over here. here. Oh, very well. Full speed ahead. Whoop. Congratulations Choo -choo. on completing the Black Mesa Hazard Force for security guards. You're now certified to join the Blue Shift High Security Unit. Wonderful. Need a job. Hey everyone, hope you've enjoyed that little little intro into security job, uh, security guard training. And I hope you come back before we start the full game. Where Barney, as I'm calling him, gets to do his beat. Walk back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Eat his sandwich and his coffee. And hope he doesn't fall asleep. Because if it does, it's, it might be disastrous. He might get fired. So come back for all the exciting adventure of Half-Life Blue Shift. Hit the like button, share it with all your friends, let them know before the adventure really begins so they don't miss any episode because it's going to be exciting. Leave comments, tips, suggestions for any video you'd like to see, any game you'd like to have played. Hit the bell and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos every day. And until next time, this is Commodore Blitz. Have a nice day. Chill in the shade, not a song is here. Soaking the rays in the lawn.